Nothing like a girl's trip. Mombasa is only an hour flight from Nairobi. So after some planning, we packed our bags, hopped on a plane for some Mombasa Raha. We went on a walking food tour organized by Travel for Purpose. This is Kamili, our guide for the day. We made our way to English Gardens to sip on some delicious spiced coffee. The hints of cardamom were delightful. Taking in the view, sipping and chatting away, we can see why this location is super popular with the locals. We were also celebrating a birthday, so Kimili made us some brownies and gave them to us. They were so delicious and we totally devoured them. We then made our way to the oldest hotel in Kenya. It's now being used as a school, but still a very cool place to pass by. It's been forever since we went to Old Town, so it was really great taking in the history and appreciating its heritage. Now it's time for some deep fried goodness. Our food tour led us to this very friendly auntie. We tried her viazi karai and her lentil bajiyas. She was a bubbly woman and it was fun conversing with her while she made her food. Everything was super tasty, especially dipped in this chutney. I think our guides could tell we were feeling pretty hot. So they organized some freshly squeezed sugarcane juice, which was perfect for the heat. Jumping on a tuk-tuk, we made our way to Lighthouse. We haven't been there in years and a lot has changed. Honestly, I wish we weren't so full. We would have definitely tried the other options offered at Lighthouse. We sipped on cold madafu, snacked on mogul crisps and appreciated the view. Our food tour only had vegetarian options, but if you'd like to sample some meat dishes, we recommend you bring some cash along with you so you can buy them on the tour. A girl's trip is meant to feed your soul and of course fill your belly. We indulged in some truly delicious food. On our last day, we hopped on the Queen Nasha, hosted by Mombasa Dao, to catch a sunset. Fun fact, the Queen Nasha was sailed all the way down from Lamu. Pretty cool, huh? We floated through serene waters, snacked on mogul crisps, and of course we had to go for a swim. The Mombasa Dao team were friendly, accommodating and professional. If you're ever in Mombasa, we totally recommend them. had more time in Mombasa. It just means we got to come back again. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed and keep on exploring.